when you want to have a video source that could be built into a transmitter, it can be easily be done with an Arduino. The way video is generated with an Arduino is done very clever. As you can see here, this is a normal video signal. This is the black level, the blanking level, and we consider it as uh, zero volt, and everything below that, in this case 0.3 volt, is the sync pulse, and every 64 uh, microseconds you need such a pulse, and of course also frame pulses uh, when you are at the bottom of the screen, and the white level is between this and this. So you need only two DC voltages, so 0.3 volt and 1 volt. And you can make it with resistors on digital outputs of the Arduino. With a small sketch, and it has some demonstration in it, with a lot of lines and uh, figures. Uh, but when you remove everything, you have this kind of sketch left. And what will be on the screen? That's uh, this result, and it's uh, too small, the letters are too small. The idea to get uh, larger uh, letters is to combine the blocks, uh, in this case mentioned as 1 and as 0, to bigger characters, like this. This shows the letter P. Looking at the sketch here, you can see that when you make those digits, in this case 2813, you can see it and in small uh, capitals uh, PA3CRX and therefore you need to make some change in the .cpp uh, file tvout.cpp uh, you need to change here it is 5, I change it to 6 uh, that prevents getting uh, blank rolls between the lines here. To prevent unnecessary bandwidth, I added a low pass filter, here a few components, this is the schematic, and the uh, result looks about the same. You can hardly see the difference without the low pass filter. You see some lines here, but it reduced bandwidth. So here I have the Arduino Uno with the two resistors going to the oscilloscope. And to compare I have here the same Arduino, but in this case it is a nano. And they have here the low pass filter added. And I will demonstrate what the effect will be. This is the Uno. And you see the sync pulses. And this is the video level. So this is the white level. This is the sync level. And this is the, these are the sync pulses. And when I make them wider. You can see that it is a really square wave shape sync, so it has a lot of harmonics. If you do the same with channel 2, you see that this is almost the same. In this case it is the Arduino Nano, but when we look deeper, you see that it is a bit rounded, the edges are a bit rounded, and you see some ringing, and also on the top, hard to see on the screen, but you see on the top also that it is a bit ringing. So with this uh, low pass filter you have less harmonics than without. Two resistors on two outputs, and that delivers the video. In this case, this video. To prevent unnecessary bandwidth, I added a low pass filter. Here, a few components. And 
the uh, result looks about the same. You can hardly see the difference without the low pass filter. You see some lines here, but it reduces bandwidth. It depends on what you uh, what your purpose is with this uh, video generator. You see large digits and you see small digits. It's all possible with this uh, kind of uh, sketch. And you can build it this way into your transmitter and switch it on and off. Then you have always your digits and or call generator with you. Enjoy building this small piece of handy equipment.